Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Al's Vintage Toy Trains, and today I have a really great outfit for you, and this is outfit number 2209W, cataloged by Lionel in 1953. And as you can see here, it is headed by the New York Central F3s, and this is an ABA configuration as it came with this set. Normally the sets were AA units only and you could buy the B unit separately but in this case this outfit came with the B unit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the catalog and Lionel gave this a really nice two-page spread and you had the choice of the New York Centrals or the Santa Fe's and otherwise the two sets were identical to each other other than the catalog number so if you wanted the New York Centrals it was 2209W. If you wanted the Santa Fe's, it was 2207W. So this was 70 bucks in 1953, which was quite a bit of money back then. But again, really nice set of diesels with that B unit. I also have the boxes with this outfit, and here are the individual boxes along with the set box. Like I said, the set box is not perfect, but it's all there other than the one flap. So I'm missing one flap to the box. It's got the circle L on the box, which is what they commonly used in 1953. And also got the, uh, the brown corrugated box. That is the engine's box. And I also have the insert and the original INL paper that it was wrapped in. Also got the other A unit, the non-powered unit, uh, depicted with a T, and that does have an insert, but no paper. And then the B unit, which is uh, indicated by the C marking on the box. And it also has the uh, caboose box. I'm assuming this box or this uh, caboose was a separate sale item based on the grease pencil markings and marked down from 575 to 380 on the box. So this might have been added to the set afterwards, or maybe it was on display and they grabbed a different box. All right, so there's the boxes, there's the catalog. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the set a little more closely. So here's the decal for the New York Central. The stripes are quite nice. There's really no nicking or marring on this outfit as far as the engine shells. The yellowing on the porthole lenses is typical of original lenses. If they've been replaced, typically they're, they're clear. So the set does have a magnet traction. And what's different from this version of the New York Centrals from the previous set is that uh, they lack a little detail from the 2344s. So the 2344s had cream screen mesh with a ventilation at the top and the 2344s also had the grab irons in the front. And what's kind of funny is Lionel depicts grab irons on the front of the engines even though they did not come with them in 1953. All right, so the freight, we have the common number 6462 gondola. We have the scale proportioned operating boxcar. And this one's in really nice shape. Uh, basically, with the UCS, uh, you can operate this, and it will open the door, and the man will, will slide out like he's throwing out a package or something like that. And this box car is in really nice shape as well. All right, then we've got the scale proportion oil car. It's the three dome car. I believe this was new in 1953. And uh, kind of looks like the uh, the older scale detailed uh, tank cars from the late pre-war and the early post-war period. 
but the uh, the base is actually plastic and not the metal like the uh, the older style single dome that was semi scale and lastly we've got the the Pennsylvania caboose and this is number 6417 and it is illuminated the shell is in really nice shape this one does have the New York zone on it uh, I think there are some scarce variations without that New York zone but this is the common version overall the sets in really nice shape all right let's go ahead and put it in operation for you Horn works. You can kind of hear the growling of the twin motors in this diesel engine. Play motors in the magnet traction, it's got a lot of pulling power. As you can probably tell, I was very excited to find this set in this kind of condition. Normally, when I find sets like this, uh, they're usually pretty well used and abused. And this is Al, and thank you very much for watching.